Hi, welcome to Volleyball 101. I'm here with Ryan Kendrick uh, from Dynamic Tape, and I'm very excited today. Today we're going to be talking about a new alternative to Kinesio Tape called uh, Biomechanical Tape by Dynamic Tape. And Ryan, tell us about this tape and how it works and some of the features and why it's different than Kinesio and how it can be used. Yeah, um, it's just a, a different tool for a different job really. So, uh, you know, our athletic tapes will lock things up for a while and our Kinesio tapes designed to, to give this lifting of the skin and creating space and, and you know, helping uh, take pressure off things and so on. This is, uh, again, a, a mechanical tape, as you say. It's like a bungee cord, and we use it really strongly, uh, elastically, to, to try and absorb load and decelerate movement or, or to change uh, you know, the way people are moving by pulling them one way or the other. Oh, wow. So uh, the properties of it are very different. If I just quickly show you, it's probably the easiest way. Very different to what we'd see with our uh, kinesiology or kinesio type. Now tape. this is traditional kinesio tape. This is, this is like traditional kinesio. There's a whole bunch of brands of this stuff around. Um, and it's designed for a different purpose. So if you want a okay. kinesio type effect, that's what this stuff is for. Um, but let me just show you. So it stretches one way, it okay. doesn't stretch the other way. So um, it only stretches lengthwise. It stretches where, lengthwise. Whereas uh, yours goes all. Goes both directions. And this has got a rigid end point, which is really critical because if we want to get that mechanical effect, it's got to go on in a short position, right? It's like jumping off a bridge with a bungee cord. You don't want to have a, a bungee that's the same length as you are before you're even, you know, off the ground, before you even jump. Yeah. It's got to be short. So you get that load absorption, that deceleration, and that spring back up. Sure. So if we stick this on your finger, you'll see what I mean. If we put this on in a, in a short position and we cross the joint, and we, we just take up the slack so it's going to start absorbing load immediately, what happens is we're going to run out of space pretty Can quickly. Can you see that? So we're going to run out of room. And okay. that becomes really apparent if you're crossing multiple joints and bringing in rotation. And that so the thing. problem is we can't extend and have full room. You can't have full range. And, you know, the recoil is not particularly strong. We That's can get not a, a, I can feel that. a little bit of a kick if you want to, you know, out here and still get a you know, full range in this direction. Um, but if we start spiraling around joints and things, that lack of sideways stretch starts to lock us up as well. Oh, interesting. So the dynamic tape, as you say, goes in all directions and it doesn't have that end point to it and it's got much stronger recoil so we can actually stick this stuff on we can shorten you up we can put our tension on again even if I want to exaggerate and bring that wrist yeah. in as well and then because of that extra stretch in it we can get all the way oh my out gosh. There, yeah. and then you get that strong recoil <laughs> to give you that spring. and it feels like it's much more solid it's like Springy. It's got stronger recoil. Um, what's really neat about it is if we want more force, we get a big guy and we're doing their legs, wow. we can laminate more than one layer together before you stick it on and create what we call a power band and we get a <laughs> lot more force out of it. So. Now, now the interesting thing is, now I, I'm not an expert, but so the power of this is now you can use this for deceleration or what is it, eccentric? Exactly, your eccentric contractions, exactly. So. You know, a lot of the problems come from that, that ability, you know, if you're, you know, spiking a ball, it's that deceleration stage that's often a problem. So we can wrap this around the arm, so as you come through, this is going to provide that deceleration externally, so the body doesn't have to deal with quite so much load. That's an extremely powerful point. Now, the other thing is, which we're going to be shooting some great videos on that I'm excited about, is the idea of being able to change technique by... Uh, how do we say, like basically encouraging or helping people create awareness of opening up or some other parts of their form. Right, so part of it, we, you know, is bringing that body awareness side of it, but we're actually going to pull them one way or another so that we start <laughs> to groove that new technique for them because that's what it's all about, practicing the correct technique time and time again. And, you know, that's often, it's, it's hard to change technique, you know, especially no, if you've got something very that's, difficult. that's, you know, been so ingrained for a long time. So this is just a way of, you know, we might want to pull somebody through, get them initiating with their trunk a little bit sooner, or, you know, they're getting problems in that late cocking where the, the arm's getting a bit lagged behind. So we can actually wrap around and get them initiating a little bit sooner so we improve that timing of activation and so on. Now, who are some of the athletes? I know you've got a picture here. It was used in the Olympics in 2012. Right, yeah, look, there's a whole whole range of athletes. Uh, we see it a lot in talking volleyball. The Brazilians actually picked the it Brazilian up. The Brazilian national team, both beach and is, indoor? Uh, indoor, as far as I know. I haven't seen it on the beach uh, teams yet, but the, the indoor uh, men and women have seen it uh, extensively. I've had the good fortune to chat with their physios about it as well. And wow, about, that's about pretty impressive. Getting, that's so up, good. Upskilling me on the <laughs> technique as well, which is fantastic. So uh, getting, getting those guys involved, we're seeing it a lot uh, on the WTA tennis circuit uh, with the women, uh, some of the ATP, the men as well, we're seeing it on there quite a bit. 
And we see it a lot in the rugby. Uh, the English rugby team have been using it. We've actually seen Serena Williams actually have it on. And I actually Tim saw it Tyson. on the ABP uh, with uh, Brooke. Uh, yeah, Brooke Sweat from and locally. Hunting the, one hunting the beach last year. Exactly. Year. And then right. I also yeah. saw it on some of the FIV Beagles too. Yeah, look, the Vanuatu team, uh, who I uh, have the good fortune of working with now, using it. Uh, they've had some issues that I've been brought in to try and help them sort out. Uh, we've seen it. Uh, and that's a serious on, good on team other, that finishes high as ninth in the FIV. Uh, ninth in the world champs last year in Poland, I believe. You know, so, the Dutch girls uh, had it on the Olympics. So we're seeing it, uh, seen it on some of the, the Czech indoor girls as well. So, yeah, look, it's getting out there. Okay, great. So uh, we've got some great videos that we've sh that we're going to be filming with Ryan. Also, if you're interested in getting a free sample of this, we're offering this on volleyball101.com. We're giving you a free sample of the tape as well as the adhesive spray. And basically, the adhesive spray is a way to really make sure this sticks. It gives us a really quick bond as well, because that's the problem with tapes. Uh, they take a little while to, to heat up the glue and to activate it. Uh, this stuff just spray it on stick it on go even if you're in the water whatever it gives you great adhesion in the water too okay make sure you check out all the videos at volleyball101.com